Welcome back everyone. NASA's time machine is revealing new things about the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is capable of looking back billions of years and it's seeing things once thought impossible. UT researchers discovered the images. KXAN senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson takes an in-depth look. It was an absolute adventure. While digging through data gathered by the James Webb Space Telescope last July. We are really looking at it like it's a time machine. Dr. Sharda Jogi and her team noticed something amazing. I suddenly started to see these bad galaxies pop up. The galaxies, 11 billion years old, when the current universe was in its infancy, something scientists thought wasn't possible. From Hubble, we got the impression that there wouldn't be any bad galaxy beyond a certain epoch in the universe. Webb can see further than any known telescope. And the further it looks, the further back in time it sees. So the image we are seeing at this moment is not what the galaxy looks like now. It's what the galaxy looked like when that light left it. When you think about a galaxy, you probably think of the Milky Way. But there are more than one type of galaxy. One is more like a watermelon-shaped um, galaxies, and the other is like a frisbee. Bars can be found in both. It's almost like a cylinder, and it stretches from the center of the galaxy to the outer parts. Galaxies like the Milky Way use the bars to form new stars. They help to solve the supply chain problem in galaxies, right? They take the gas that's in the outer part of the galaxy, they bring it to the center. Dr. Jogi said they didn't expect Webb to see what it did. Not only did it see, show really clearly these bad galaxies at 20% of the age of the universe, but surprisingly, these bars were also very well developed. The discovery reshapes what we know about galactic evolution. The fact that we are seeing bars early in the universe means there's a new channel to form new stars very early on in the universe. But for Jogi, the biggest impact of the discovery won't be on researchers, but younger science lovers. I think space science somehow has this, this, this unfair advantage of having this beautiful image and, and capturing the public and capturing uh, younger scientists to get involved in STEM. All thanks to young galaxies captured in a moment in time. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.